Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me for this video. And uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Um, this is just a short, well, hopefully short, I don't know. I always say my videos are going to be short, but then I end up talking forever. Uh, so I don't know how long this is going to be. Um, but actually, this is like a whip and chat kind of thing. But also I found out about the diamond painting tag, uh, which was um, like initiated by um, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. Uh, and um, I thought I would give it a go as well. Uh, you know, uh, I'd love to like try and answer the questions, uh, though I don't think I have good answers for, <laughs> for many of the questions. Um, but yeah, it just kind of gives me an opportunity to catch up with you guys. And if there's anybody new who would like to, like who'd be interested in my channel, then they can meet me this way and learn more about me. Uh, so, well, <laughs> I already got stuck and it's just the beginning of this video. Um, but first of all, um, just a quick update. Um, so if you've seen my last whip and chat, you you know that I've had quite a difficult month. Like November was pretty hard for me. And now we're into December. So I'm hoping that this one will be a better, better, better month. Um, so just an update. So I was telling you last time that my parents had COVID. Uh, and so they're still, they still have COVID, they're still recovering, but they are getting a little bit better. Uh, so kind of day by day, they seem to be getting better. So, so that's good news. Um, and me, well, I've been very, very busy again, <laughs> as usual, not enough diamond painting time, but look, 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 I have made progress since the last video. Oh, I'm dropping things already. I've dropped something. I don't know what I dropped, but anyway, uh, but look, 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 last time when I was speaking to you just over a week ago, um, I had like, I was still here, like I was still finishing the butterfly uh, and I didn't have this part. I, I think actually, oh, look, I'm, I'm finding drills, um, but actually I think I didn't have even this done and, and the eye wasn't done. So all of this, I think a lot of this I managed to do this week. Uh, so I'm actually really happy with how much progress I've made. Like, I think I've, I've done quite a lot this week. I'm still a long way from finishing this whip, um, but I think, you know, I'm very happy with how this is looking so far. And like, it's, I think it's looking beautiful. Um, so this kind of is already like answering the first question from the tag. Uh, so Mrs. Crochet and Coffee put like together like 21 questions. Um, and so the very first question from the diamond painting tag is what is your current whip and what do you like about it? And so this is my current whip. I've been working on it for way too long and I'm still very, very far from finishing it, but I'm absolutely loving this painting. It's been so much fun to work on. Um, so, so what is it? So this is La Vida from Margaret Morales. Uh, so, so the artist who painted this painting originally is Margaret Morales. And uh, let me just grab the... So you can see the thumbnail here, hopefully, yeah, so you can see her. Um, yeah, um, and here, this is kind of what I've done so far. So I've done the top of the painting, so I've done like the big flower. You can see my last whip and chat as well to, to see more details of that and, and the special drills that I've been using for this as well. But yeah, so basically, sorry, I keep finding some random drills. Uh, so I'm just going to pick this one up and put it somewhere. Uh, I think I found like, a random black drill. So one thing about this canvas that is annoying me a little bit. So I'm loving this painting. I'm loving the, the rendering. I'm loving the quality of drills. So this is from Diamond Shop. And Diamond Shop now switched to resin drills. Uh, so they're super sparkly. They're lovely quality drills. The colors are beautiful. I'm, I'm loving the artwork. But, 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 but the glue on this canvas is not super sticky so the drills seem, seem to be popping off a lot um so so i keep i keep finding drills and then i have to like replace them and i'm a little bit scared that they will all fall off um relatively quickly because it just seems to be happening that they are falling off a lot uh so that's the only thing that i'm not happy with about this specific canvas so i'm just gonna place these drills somewhere that i keep finding uh so i found a couple of these purple ab's as well I'm just going to place them here. Okay, so yes, so the whip, I so I told you the artwork is La Vida by Margaret Morales. 
The size is 50 by 69, so it's a pretty big one. It's not huge, but for me, it feels really big. Um, I've been single placing it a lot. Uh, so obviously this I could like multi-place and a lot of them, so this is actually most of it is like 939, there's a lot of 939 in, the, in these dark areas that I could multi-place some of that, but most of the other colors I've just been single placing because there's a lot of confetti and I'm adding a lot of special drills as well and it's just um yeah it's just very confetti heavy so it's just been very slow going uh, but yeah it is relatively big so 50 by 69 and it's a round drill kit. Okay, but again, if you want to hear some more details about what I'm doing in terms of like the special drills I'm adding and, and like how I'm finding this painting, I think my last whip and chat I go into quite a lot of detail. Uh, so I will link that up in the eye for you to see as well in case if you're interested more in this canvas. And I also, of course, unbox this canvas on my channel uh, so that you can have a look at that as well. Um, yeah, I should have said, by the way, my name is Natalia. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't figured that out yet from my channel name, my name is Natalia. I live in the UK in London. Oh, and it's raining. I just so so I just looked outside through the window and it's horrible weather. Gosh, it just started raining. Uh, yes, yeah, so I live in grey, rainy London. <laughs> London. And um, I'm relatively new to YouTube. I only started my channel in I don't know, was it June or July? Maybe it was the beginning of July. I feel it was when I had my exam, around when I had my big exam, and that was at the start of July. So it must have been around the first week of July or something like that. So just a few months ago. As I'm relatively new, and also because I have a very busy life, I don't post a whole lot of videos, um, but I try. When I can, I will post a video. But anyway, anyway, let's let's go on. Okay, so I'm meant to be diamond painting, so I decided I'm going to do one of these easier colors where I don't have to like search for it everywhere. So I'm going to do the 3865, which is symbol G, and that's just going mostly on her face. I think that's just going on her face, actually nowhere else. So I'm just going to put some in my tray. And as I'm chatting to you, I'm going to start placing some of these um, these white, they're not, they're like off-white, um, but whitish drills. Okay, and I found, well, I just dropped the drill, okay. Yeah, but I don't know, I'm just a bit concerned that they're, they don't seem to be sticking very well. I don't know, I don't know. So there's the new canvases from Diamond Shop. I like everything else um, about this canvas other than the glue. I don't like the glue very much. Okay, so I think I've answered question number one. I hope I have. Um, question number two is what is your workspace? And okay, that's a little bit, um, so it's a lot of these questions I don't actually have very interesting answers for. So I live in a one bedroom flat uh, with very little space. So I wish I had a craft room or at least like a dedicated desk where I can put all my crafty things, like a crafting corner. But I really, my flat is so small. Um, you know, I'm just renting here. I only moved here in April. Um, that is just so small that I, I don't have a lot of space to, you know, to put my crafting things in. So my crafting things are kind of all over the place. I have like a big stash of diamond paintings that I keep in one one part of my living room I have like a diamond painting stash dedicated space and then the actual diamond painting for larger for larger canvases I take them to um I have like a dining table and so basically it's just like a glass dining table um there's nothing exciting and I just um it's big enough for the larger canvases to go on um at least you know like 50 by 70 I think that's the perfect size for this table really um larger I think I have to hang part of the canvas <laughs> from the table I don't think I would be able to fit the whole canvas on this table larger than like um yeah 80 well 70 something centimeters is probably tops um yeah but but that's okay uh, with poured glue canvases, you can hang them off the table and they're fine. They, they just straighten by themselves, so that's all good. Um, yeah, but so far I've not been working on such large canvases, though I have a few of them in my stash. Uh, but yeah, really, it's very boring workspace. So as I know Miss Crochet and Coffee said, oh, include a picture if you can, but really I'm not going to just, like, it's literally just a table. Um, table with my diamond painting on it. It's really not exciting, so I don't see the point of including a picture of that. Um, yeah, but um, that's it really. Um, so I guess that's the second question done. So let me let me move on to more questions that I don't have good answers for. 
what is this trail? This trail is not does not belong here. And now I have to do something. I think this is 5.50, isn't it? Now, because it started raining, it got dark. It was very bright before. It was very sunny, actually, before. Um, and I had lots of good light. But now we've lost the light. And now it's kind of getting a bit dark. So I don't know if I should maybe put the light on. Oh, this is very... This is not going as I wished. I was actually very happy with the light before and I thought, oh, this is perfect for recording a, vi a video, but now obviously that's all changed. Um, let me try and put the light on, actually. Okay, so I don't know if that's better or worse. Um, well, you guys can tell me. <laughs> So, well, hopefully, to be fair, I when I so I've watched a few of these. Um, so so Miss Coffee, and uh, Miss Crocheting Coffee made um like a playlist from the videos that people are submitting. Um, so in in the playlist, uh, I've watched some of the videos already. Only only the first few. Um, and already found some really uh, nice creators. So, um, like there's a really nice new creator from Scotland. That's um. I think the channel name is Diamond Painting Gamer uh, and I really love her accent um, because I used to live in Scotland for like nine years and I love Scottish accent, I really miss Scottish accent so I was very excited to find a diamond painter from Scotland. Uh, I will try to remember to link her channel below or at least put the name of her channel below so that you guys can find it. But she's on the playlist, she's like the second video on the playlist or something so she's right at the top. Okay, um, what was I gonna say? Question number three, that's what I was going to do. What is your favourite diamond painting pen and where is it from? Oh gosh. Well, here's an embarrassing thing. Well, is it embarrassing? I don't know. I, I found actually a few people answered that similar, so I don't feel as bad about it anymore. You know, when I first started this channel, I was thinking the first thing that people will think when they watch my whip and chat is that I don't have a good diamond painting pen. And I literally, I was so concerned about the fact that I don't have a good diamond painting pen and I thought people will like judge me for it. But and now I'm like, no, there's more people like that around here. Um, you know, I'm not one of these creators that have to have everything like accessorized or anything like that. I, I just really like diamond painting and that's the main thing. I just enjoy doing it. I enjoy the artwork um, and that's my main focus. So I don't really do accessories. Um, it's not my thing, not, not for diamond painting anyway, because for me, I'd rather spend the money on the diamond paintings themselves. Like I already spent too much money on diamond paintings. <laughs> so I don't want to add to the expenses by buying more accessories. So basically you won't see many accessories here. But when I first started this channel, I was so worried about it that I went to Amazon and I bought a pen. So I bought this pen of Amazon. And I thought at least it will look like I have some more diamond painting pen, <laughs> which I don't. Uh, and guys, I've been I've I've been trying to get used to it, but honestly, it's too big for me. I I don't like the it's, it feels too heavy, too big, too bulky. I actually really enjoy these small pens. They're light, they're comfy to hold, they're very light. I I like how light they are. And I don't really have any problems of using those, just those pens that come with the kit. And I have so many of them that I don't see why, why bother with a different pen. Um, I actually don't like the bigger pen, like at least based on that one pen that I used. Um, I just, I don't enjoy the bulkiness of it. So I thought I'm just going to stick with the kit pens, uh, which is fine. Uh, sometimes I use multiplacers, but generally I use the smaller multiplacers. So my previous whip, the one that I did for drills and chills, I had so much multiplacing in that one that I was using the big multiplacer for that one. But for this one, there's no point. There's very, I mean, I could use it maybe here, but it's, I, I just like four placers, really. I think four placers is like my sweet spot. I really enjoy using four placer. Because, you know, when you use these large multiplacers, I think the issue is it's actually really hard to get them all in line anyway. So then I end up correcting the drills after I've placed them. So that takes me as much time as actually do, using a four placer and doing it twice. Um, so I just decided I'm, I'm not going to bother, basically. Sorry, the drills keep popping off. I'm getting really annoyed with that, actually. Because, you know, these, these canvases from Diamond Shop, they're very expensive. And I just... I feel like for the price that you pay, like you should get the perfect quality kind of thing. But I'm feeling that the glue on this canvas is just not, it's it's just there's something wrong with it. 
but anyway anyway that's okay so so i don't really have a favorite diamond painting pen other than just using the ones that come in the kit yeah uh, so that's what i've been doing see even here there's so much confetti it's not just like you think this is just white but no it's not just white so so there's only like white is here so i have to like actually find even just the whites in here okay Favorite tray, favorite diamond painting tray. Again, I don't accessorize. Um, really boring. I know, guys. I know you all like here to hear about all these fancy shops and fancy trays and stuff. But the thing is, when you live in the UK, it's actually not that easy to accessorize. That's another thing that we don't really have many UK-based sellers uh, for diamond painting. Uh, so there's now a new, a relatively new company which is called Diamond Art Studios UK. And they do some accessories, I know. Um, but, um, you know, there's maybe a couple other sellers um, that do accessories, but they're not very exciting. Like, I don't know. Like, you can, like, if you really want to, you can try some. But again, I don't want to spend money on accessories. But the thing is, then if you want to actually accessorize, then uh, you'd need to go abroad. So you'd need to order mostly from the United States um, or somewhere in Europe. Uh, but most sellers are over in America and then you have to add the shipping costs on top of that which is usually more than the product itself and if we're talking about accessories and then you need to add also custom uh, which is usually 20% of the price so that that way buying accessories I could actually buy a diamond painting canvas for a similar price which in my case it just really doesn't make sense to spend that much money on accessories uh, so so Diamond painting trays, again, I just use the ones that come in the kit. Uh, mostly just the small white boats, like this one. I have some slightly larger white boats, but actually I don't like them as much because the drills seem to be getting stuck in the grooves. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, so I actually just like the white, the normal white boats more than that. Um, yeah, that's it really. So again, boring answer. Moving on, moving on. Round or square? Okay, so what's your favorite? And that's a funny thing that I think most people, at least the ones that I've heard so far and like the ones that I've heard previous to this tag, most people would say that they prefer square drills. I think that's the majority of diamond, painter, diamond painters that they will say that they prefer square drills. Now, I don't prefer square drills. I do square drills. I like them, but they annoy me. So actually my, my preference is definitely round drills. So I love this. So this canvas is round drills and I love it. I could do round drills. Like, like I like, don't get me wrong. Like I will do square drills and I like them. I like, it's a different kind of final effect, but there's something that bothers me a lot about square drills is the gapping. Uh, and I can never get them perfect. Even if I try and straighten them, they don't, they're, they're not straight they're not straight and I just see the gaps between them especially if you have like so if you had like a face like here if you had just white white big patch of light drills in squares you will see a lot of gapping and I just don't like seeing the gapping it upsets me I don't like how uneven so you can see that the squares are not perfectly you know lining up with each other and that bothers me so much um, I still enjoy doing them and I know that I, um, everybody enjoys the clicking sound as well. Now it depends also on the drills, uh, so obviously with Diamond Art Club um, or like Dreamer Designs you get the lovely clicky sound and, and I love the sound, yeah it's very satisfying definitely. Um, but um, with some other companies, like if I think if the dr drills are not resin drills, I think then you don't even get the clicking, so then you don't even get that satisfaction. So, so they're not always like that satisfying either. And I think they just take so much more time squares uh, for me just, just to place them, to straighten them. I just, they just um, feel like more effort. So personally, I definitely prefer rounds. Um, but another reason why I prefer rounds is not just because I don't like squares because of the alignment. The main thing actually that, that I love about round drills is the sparkle just the way they sparkle is is just so beautiful so squares they they do have a bit of sparkle but it's not not as i don't know i don't know how to call it it's like um they're you know they, they're lovely you get more i know i get what people say by having a more like complete picture because you don't have the, the big gaps between the drills like in the case of round drills um uh, but you 
like you don't have because they're flat um like they don't have that like round surface so they don't reflect light as much as round drills so they're not as sparkly as light as round drills and i love the sparkle of round drills i just enjoy it so much that i would uh, you know, I would generally tend to choose round drills if I can, although not always, because then, see, it's a complex topic, isn't it? <laughs> With square drills, um, another advantage of using square drills is that you get more detail in. So for the same size of painting, uh, square drills are smaller. Uh, so if I would um, want to have a very detailed um, piece of artwork, like for example, if I was to order a custom, or if I had to choose for the same piece of artwork, whether I want square or round drills, and it's a very detailed painting, then I will probably go for squares, even though I like rounds so much, uh, squares will give you more detail. So it's always a bit of a trade-off, like, you know, if there's, um, there's plus and minus to everything, um, but I like both. Like I, I think I like to switch. So do like one painting in square, one painting in round, and so on and so on. And I generally I have multiple whips going on at the same time. Uh, so at the moment, I have a few. Though, though since November, I've only been working on this one painting. So I kind of put all my other whips aside, and I haven't touched them since the start of November, which is very unusual for me because I generally switch between my whips all the time. Um, but I just I've just been enjoying this painting so much that I thought oh, I'm just gonna concentrate on this one for now because I'm I'm kind of in a zone with this painting. I just kind of want to keep going with it. Uh, but normally I have several whips and even at the moment I've started a few different ones and some of them are square, some of them are round. So I generally like to have a variety and just pick the one that I feel like at the time. Uh, so I'd say I like both, uh, but I'm leaning more toward round drills, definitely. Okay, favorite wax. Again, I don't accessorize. So guys, there isn't really much to say here. Um, what I use. I just use, um, again, waxes that come with kits. And I, I don't know, some people say that they prefer the blue wax. I personally don't really see much difference between the blue and the pink. So I just really use whichever. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just like just whatever comes. So even here, well, I have like multiple pieces of wax lying about. Um, so, so, you know, like I, I have like this one or this one. And I just, I'm happy just using the standard chippy wax that comes with the Chinese kits. Like, I don't mind it at all. Actually, with the caddy, so, so I know these are really nice looking, the, you know, the these containers for wax. But actually, I don't find them very useful. I, I feel kind of it's a waste of plastic, to be honest. And they, you have to open them and you have to get the wax out somehow, or at least lift the plastic cover. And it's just, it's just a faff, to be honest. So I'm happy even with just using that. <laughs> I'm a very simple person, honestly. I just, I'm happy with simple things. Okay. Um, so, again, boring answer there. Just normal, usual pink wax, any wax, anything that I have on hand, I will use. I've never tried micro dots. I've heard lots about them. I've never tried them. Um, maybe one day I will. I once tried using, um, what do you call it? Uh, blue tack. I, w I tried to put it in my pen and... <laughs> And I failed. I didn't know how to put it in. And then I was just, oh, I can't be bothered with this anymore. And I just switched back to the pink wax. Um, but I heard the blue tag can work as well. Okay. So next question. Top places to shop for diamond painting supplies. I don't have many because I, as I said uh, now, I don't know how many times I said it, but I don't accessorize. Um, but um, if I was to buy something that's not a diamond painting, um, then, uh, so so I think the most likely thing that I would buy is uh, special drills. So I would buy ABs or uh, crystal drills um, or like, I don't know, like some sparkly like silver diamonds or something like that. Uh, then I would obviously go to an accessory shop. And there's a couple in the UK. Uh, so now Diamond Art Studio UK started selling some ABs, which is great, but they only have a few colors at the moment available. Um, there's another UK seller that I would go to. Um, they're, they're not my favorite seller, but they're the one that's in the UK. <laughs> so, you know, so I don't know. I tend to, you know, prefer local things uh, because of the issues with shipping costs and um, customs and, and all that kind of nonsense. 
I'm just gonna refill my wax in the multiplacer because it doesn't seem to be working well. Um, right, so yes, yeah, so so the so that that shop in the UK that I buy special diamonds from is um, painting with diamonds. I think that's their name. Painting of yeah, I think it's painting of diamonds. I actually have some right here. Let me just let me just double check. Uh, so it's these guys. Painting with diamonds, yes. So they're based in the UK, and so these, for example, this is an example of kind of special drawers that you can get from them. I haven't actually used those yet, um, but they have multiple, they have pretty much like all sorts of colors, uh, both like they have like silver or gold, or they also have like ABs of all colors, or um, they have some, some crystals. I don't think they have a lot of crystals. I think they're mostly ABs that they have, I think. They also have cover minders as well. I think I got one cover minder from them. Um, yeah, so I buy from that shop if I don't have, basically because I don't have anywhere else in the UK to buy drills. Um, now, if there are drills that I can't find at that shop, then I will source them abroad. And then my stuff I only ordered from one US based shop because actually when I, so, so I really wanted to get some ABs um, a few months ago uh, and I actually really wanted to get both ABs but also like the, the main thing that I couldn't get in the UK was uh, crystal rhinestones just so I couldn't find them anywhere in the UK so to get crystal rhinestones I started looking at US shops and I know everybody um, is talking about um, Tina from Sparklers DP with Sparklers I think something like that but they, uh, I contacted Tina, but she said she's not going to ship to the UK, that she wasn't shipping to the UK at the moment. I think that may have changed now, but again, I don't, I, you know, I haven't tried ordering um, recently, so I don't know what's the current situation about shipping to the UK. Look, the sun is back again. I'm just going to put the light down again. <sighs> what weather today it keeps changing. Right, so Tina... Uh, from DP with sparklers, I think I think that's the correct name. Uh, she let me know that she's not shipping to the UK at that time um, Again, that may have changed now. So please check with Tina if you're interested um, But at the time the only seller that I could find that would ship to the UK without charging me $50 for the shipping uh, was shimmering canvases and I got so so basically shimmering canvases offered um, to ship um, with USPS uh, which they said, well, we can't guarantee that the drills will actually get to you with USPS because they're not very good. Um, but the drills got to me fine within like two weeks. Um, and the shipping price was quite reasonable. I think it was like $15 or something. So it was much less. Like I think the other shop they asked, they said like $50 or something. I was like, no chance I'm paying that much for the shipping of drills. Um, so again, so it's an issue generally with accessories. It's just an issue with shipping to the UK. Uh, especially now after Brexit, it's getting even harder because of the custom charges. But so shimmering canvases would be my um, my go-to for drills. I think right now if I was to order more crystal rhinestones and I couldn't find them in the UK, I would go to shimmering canvases. Um, what else? Well, I, I think that's that's really these three shops that I mentioned. Uh, of course, then, you know, Diamond Art Club sells some pens and also I got some release paper from them yet, which I haven't tried using, but um, they started selling release paper and I, I've i been meaning to get some. So I I added some to my um, last order and, it, you know, I've, I've when I try to use it, so next time when I actually open it and use it, then I will record it on the video as well. Uh, maybe I'll do like a kitting up video or something. And how to how am I putting release papers, which I haven't done before, um, but yeah, I may try and do that um, when I start the next diamond painting. Um, okay, so that's it really. Uh, what else? So the next question, top places. No, I've already done this one. Was the accessories companies you haven't tried yet but want to, and what's uh, what's stopping you? So what's stopping me again is only the money. Uh, the only thing is I'm not rich enough to be buying accessories. Um, um, I mean, honestly, it's, it's diamond painting is already expensive as it is without accessories. And what's stopping me... So there's quite a few US um, shops that I would like to try. Of course, I would love to try. I mean, 
Um, for example, the pretty placers. I'd really love to try the pretty places, uh, placers. But again, um, I just don't like with the shipping. It just gets a bit too expensive for you know for a silly little pen. Um, so it's yeah. So it's really the money that's stopping me. Uh, but maybe one day I will try some accessories. You know, maybe one day uh, things will be a bit more available in the UK and I'll be easier to access them. And uh, well, another accessory that um. I think because I think there's another question. Is there, is there a next question? Uh, let me just check. Yes, favorite diamond painting accessory. So I can I can move on to this question. So I said I don't accessorize, but one thing that I can't live without is containers, like diamond painting containers. Um, but these I would generally uh, get from Amazon or also from even from AliExpress. You can get them. And so I don't buy them from like official diamond painting suppliers, just like generic stores. Um, and so, so yeah, but I love diamond painting containers and I think, you know, I couldn't, couldn't live without them. Although funnily enough, uh, having said that, this painting here, which is a huge painting as well, I am working out of baggies. And so Diamond Shop now started uh, shipping their diamonds in baggies already. So they pre-bagged. Uh, so they all come in ziplock ziploc bags like this and I was being lazy well actually to be fair I had so many whips going on that most of my containers were already in use um, I think I have a set of containers that I could use in theory but also I actually didn't think I would be working on this painting properly I just wanted to get it started and I thought well it's already in baggies so I could just put a few drills on just work out of baggies and then put it aside and work on it later again but I actually got so into it that I just started working on this painting, like just on this painting, no other paintings. So it became my main whip now, uh, but I just continued working out of baggies. And actually it's been fine. It's not been bothering me too much. The only thing I don't like about working out of baggies, so I'm trying to fish those drills that fell out of my tray. Um, yeah, I kind of knocked my tray and now I've got drills everywhere. Um, the only thing that I don't like about working out of baggies is the fact that when I miss a drill, or like I just miss a few drills, so if I have a container, I will just fish them out with my pen from the container. Uh, but it's really hard to do that with baggies, actually, um, because baggies, um, you, it's very hard to fish drills out. So it's better to put them out on a tray, but that's more work and it's a bit harder to do it with baggies than with containers in general. Uh, so yeah, so maybe it's not like the best thing to do working out of baggies, but I know some people do it um, a lot and they enjoy it. For me, I think if I have an option, I would prefer containers, but I, I'm not a big fan of kitting up. So in a way, I like the fact that with, if the drills come pre-bagged, then I don't have to worry about kitting them up and I just, yeah, I enjoy that. Okay, but that's me. So, so yes, so containers are the main accessory that I would go for. Okay. Where do you start your diamond painting? Uh, now, again, I don't have like a rule or, you know, I don't have a pattern that I follow. It really depends on the painting, on the painting. Uh, like I would tend to start, well, I don't know really, it varies. It varies, like in this, in case of this painting, I really wanted to start with the flower because I just, I was really excited about the flower, like this, this corner here. I just thought it was so pretty. So I wanted to start with the flower. Um, but in another painting, I may want to start in a completely different corner. Um, I would never start in the middle of the painting, obviously, because it's hard to access. So I would always start in one of the corners, but which corner? It could be any corner. Um, and so I don't see anything wrong with working in any direction or even starting with one corner and then going to another corner. Like I, I have done it before, like starting from one side and then getting bored with this side and going to the other side of the painting. I don't see anything wrong with that and uh, I don't follow quite a lot of time I like I struggle with uh, sectioning my paintings because I just like kind of freestyling it so if you look here I've been working on this massive area of my painting already and I've placed some drills here some drills here I like working by color so if I have one color out I will place it in a big area of the painting I just like that Though sometimes I try sectioning out my paintings and I try following sections, but I struggle with that because I kind of like just freestyling it and just, um, you know, working on a larger area and just placing the colors that I like. 
so I don't really follow, I don't have a structured way of diamond painting. I just do whatever I feel like at the time. Um, again, I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, I think there's no right or wrong way to diamond paint. Just whatever feels good, really. Okay. Right, so next question. Let's move on because I'm, I'm answering, I'm talking too much again, as usual. How long have you been diamond painting? Uh, well, I started doing lockdown last year. That was summer, end of summer. I think it was like August 2020. Yeah, August 2020. And now we're in December 2021. So however many months that is, it's more than a year. But it's not even a year and a half, I think, yet. So yeah, I don't know. 15, 16, 17 months. <laughs> no idea. You, you did the counting. You did the maths. Um, and then how long have you had your platform? So I already kind of answered that question earlier. I started my channel at the start of July. So just a few months, maybe like half a year. Yeah. Okay. And then next question. I, I'm also on Instagram. So I've been um, actually on Instagram. I've been longer. I started my Instagram account, I think over a year ago, like maybe November last year. Um, and I, I use Instagram quite a bit because I really enjoy seeing everybody's, um, what they're working on and I'm sharing my, my whips and stuff. So I use Instagram for that. Okay. What other crafts do you do? Uh, well, if you've been on my channel before, you will know that I uh, love cross stitch and that's the main other craft that I do. And I actually like it so much that now I'm really struggling to decide every day whether I'm going to diamond paint or whether I'm going to cross stitch because I have a lot, a lot of cross stitch projects on the go and a lot that I still want to start. Uh, as well as many, many diamond paintings that I want to work on. So it's always a struggle deciding what, what to work on. I would say that at this point I like both crafts equally. It just varies. Some some days uh, some days I feel more like diamond painting and some days I feel more like cross stitching. Uh, sometimes it's just more practical to cross stitch because I can sit anywhere and cross stitch. With diamond paintings I have to set everything up and then you know sit at the table and so sometimes that's just not that comfortable uh, or like convenient at the time um, with cross stitch also it's more portable so I can take it on, to the, on, on, the, on the tube or I can take it to work or if I'm traveling it's easier to take cross stitch so um, yeah so sometimes it's more the, the practical side of things that decides what I do. I also started uh, doing a little bit of crochet but I've only done a couple projects so far and I'm not, uh, I don't have any whips at the moment in terms of crochet. It's a very new thing for me. I'm a very beginner person and I'm not very good at it. So, so this is more something that I may try more in the future, but it's not like a main craft that I do. I used to do a little bit of paint by numbers, but that was a few years ago now and I haven't touched it since then. Um, it's not really on my, like I was wondering about trying it again, but then I thought I already have so many other things I want to do. I don't have time and I don't have enough, like I don't want it enough, I think, to try uh, painting by numbers again. Um, so I decided I'm just going to leave it for now and maybe one day I'll try it again, but not, not in the near future probably. And so that's the main things. Uh, I also play violin, so I'm also a musician, uh, but that's kind of a different, it's not really a craft, is it? But it's something artsy that I do as well in my life. Okay, next question. Name three people, um, uh, including other creators, that you would like to meet in person. So, um, I mean, it's kind of a difficult question because there's many, many, many people that I would want to meet in person uh, from the diamond painting community. There's lots of amazing people out there. Um, the main, the kind of the main two creators that I connect with and that I always follow, like I try to watch most of their videos at least, and um, I feel like we have quite similar personalities, similar values, and we enjoy, you know. I don't know. It's it's just there's some connection there. Uh, so the main two people would be Lizette from Lizette Crafts and Tales that I would love to meet in person. I think that would be so fun because she's such a fun personality. And the second one uh, would be Lenka. It, it, it's not in any particular order. I don't mean Lenka is second. Actually, I, I would want to meet them equally. Uh, you know, yeah, best if we could all meet together. <laughs> 
<laughs> would be fantastic. So Lenka from Lenka D, she has her channel as well. And she's already done a video for this um, tag as well. I watched it earlier today and it's very good. So you should go and watch it if you haven't yet. Um, and then, then I struggle to decide on the third person. Actually, I would really love to meet one of my subscribers who always very, very kindly leaves me wonderful comments and then who's been like sending me emails and, and um, she's super, super sweet as uh, Louise. Uh, Louise uh, is a lovely subscriber that, um, you know, I just, I'm so happy that I met her through my channel and then we kind of bonded. And so I would love to meet her in person and have a chat over a cup of coffee or something. And that would be amazing. Um, in terms of other creators, um, I don't know, Bev B seems like a very fun personality, but there's lots, there's so many, so many creators out there, like also from the UK, um, it's like Rachel, um, from Did See Diamond Painter, there's, um, like there's other creators, so many, so many creators that, you know, I'm sure it'd be lots of fun to like have a chat in person, like all about diamond painting and about all sorts of other things. Um, you know, there's Katie from Diamonds and Washi, which I love her channel as well. Um, there's so many, so many, so many people that I really, you know, enjoy watching and enjoy hearing from. Plus also I watch a lot of Flosstube and from there, oh my goodness, that would be a very long list of people that I would want to meet in person uh, from Flosstube because I adore so many people in the cross stitch community. And look at that, now it's raining again. So now the sun's gone down. <laughs> I'm gonna put the light on again. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's finish this tag. We have a few more questions. What what genre genre? I can't say that word. So, so what genre of diamond painting um is your favorite? So basically like do I like diamond painting people? Do I like diamond painting animals, landscapes? What is my favorite? Now I'm not sure if I have actual favorite. I like art like uh, I mean I know all diamond painting is art but I think I like things that are really artistic in terms of like they're not just like cartoons or they're not like I don't like for example I wouldn't want to diamond paint a picture of something it's just like I like it to be like a painting and I like it to be like I don't know like a bit a bit kind of different so so not like mainstream mainstream things like i don't know like i really love this artwork because it, I, I feel like there's something special like there's something meaningful about it like there's very i don't know it's it's not just like a picture of a girl it's it's more like you know she's kind of you know she's got this this mystical kind of more mysterious thing about her uh i do like I don't, I, I think most of the, when I think about my stash, I have a few, quite a few of them will be like people based diamond painting. So they will have a face or, you know, they will have um, some, some, they will have some people in them. So I think a lot of them are like female. Sorry, there's an ambulance coming. But I think a lot of them are like portraits of a female or... I, I don't know, I did one that was like a, a couple, a, a couple uh, embracing, so that was from Mandy Manzano. But again, it's it's kind of art artsy, it's not just like a picture, it's it's more like it's it's presented in an artistic way. Uh, so I think a lot of the paintings I have involve people. But yeah, I don't have many landscapes. I wouldn't say, I would like to try doing one landscape or like, um, there are some that I've seen and I thought, oh, I'd like to buy this one. But I don't think I have any, I, I think I have one from Mandy Manzano that's like a landscape, the Shepherd's Cottage one. And I, I probably have some other, I have like one with Flamingo from Dreamer Designs. It's also like kind of like a little landscape, but it's just a small one. Um. I don't have many big landscapes, but I'd love to try one. I'm, I'd definitely like to try like some of these. So I, I've never done a Chuck Pinson, but I'd love to try this one. Like there's a massive one that's like um, Italy. I don't know. It's like a harbor in Italy or something. And it's very pretty. I'd love to try that one. Uh, so maybe one day I'll do like a proper large landscape. But mostly, most of my diamond paintings are people based or also animal um animal but it's not like again not like pictures of animals but more like if it's like a drawing i don't know like a so maybe a little bit cartoonish but not not like a completely cartoonish or i don't know 
I don't know. I think more like artsy, but including animals <laughs> or people. <laughs> I don't know. This is not really describing it very well. As you, if you've been on my channel before as well, you'll know that I love Van Gogh. So I have quite a few Van Gogh diamond paintings and I've seen now that Diamond Art Club released a new one just now. So obviously um, I'll, I'd love to get that one one day. Um, but so yeah, I like paintings. Like I just like artwork. It doesn't really matter so much what's in it. Um, I mean, I guess you could say Starry Night is a landscape, but it's not really... A typical landscape it's you know so so what is it what what does it classify as I, I don't know I just like pretty pretty art <laughs> that, that's all that's the definition <laughs> I noticed that I like them painting paintings that have trees in them like there's the one on my wall you know, the, the only one that I framed that's uh, that's a beautiful painting of a tree but is that a landscape? Not really. There's just a painting with a tree in it. Like it's it's in the trees in the middle and around the trill, uh, around the tree there's like um, lots of colors. But it's I I don't know if that classes as a landscape really. It's just a pretty painting, pretty colorful painting. <laughs> right? <laughs> Did I answer the question? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I don't know what my favorite genre is. <laughs> I like a variety, really. I like a variety. As long as it's pretty and colorful, I'm gonna like it, probably. I don't know. Okay, next question. What is the biggest diamond painting you've completed and how long did it take? Uh, well, actually I'm a bit disappointed about this question because I think still the biggest painting that I've completed was actually a painting that wasn't licensed artwork and it was one from these like Chinese shops. Um, and it wasn't, I didn't have a great experience with that painting. So I don't like the fact that this is, I think, because that was 60 by 80. And I don't think I've ever done even another 60 by 80 or anything bigger than 60 by 80 still. So I'm not really, like, it's not my best painting. It's, it wasn't my favorite. It had, um, so I love cockatoos. I used to live in Australia and that one had like a cockatoo portrait. So it was like just a big, um, big cockatoo. Um, and I like the, the art itself, but I didn't have a particularly good time with that painting because also it had training wheels and it was all light colors. So the training wheels were really visible. And even, even when I tried placing my drills exactly on the wheel, they would still come out. And, and I just, I found it super annoying. And, and in the, in the end, I did finish that painting, but I... I didn't keep it. I, I just threw it out in the end because I was like, I don't like it. You know, I finished it. I looked at it. Um, I kept it for a few weeks. I'm like, I'm never going to do anything with this painting. I don't actually like this painting anymore. And it's not even licensed artwork. Um, so in the end, I threw it out. And that was my 60 by 80. I don't know. I think it. Oh, I was working on it. So again, I like doing multiple paintings at a time. So it generally takes me more like at least two months to finish a painting because I don't work on it like every day um I don't know how long it would be if I summed up all the days you know that I worked uh, on it if it would be a month or it would be maybe it would be more than a month I don't know but I generally work on multiple paintings at a time and so it takes me quite a bit of time to finish one painting um, but that one had a lot of color blocking in it. So it wasn't, even though it was larger than this one, it probably took me less time than this one uh, because I was multi-placing a lot. Um, because when I realized that it doesn't matter how I place my drills, I can still see the training wheels, then I just like, I'm just going to multi-place it, get it finished as soon as I can. So I think maybe it took me around a month, really, if I summed up all the days I worked in it. But this one is... Again, um, 50 by 69 and it's, I've been already working on it. But the thing is, again, I've not had much time to diamond paint in November. Uh, I've been doing a lot of cross stitch as well. I've been very busy. I maybe managed to find an hour a day to diamond paint. Sometimes I don't diamond paint at all in a day. Uh, today I've had a good day that I've had a few hours to diamond paint, but it's very rare now that that happens. So if I say it takes me a month to do something, actually it takes me probably more, you know, if you summed up the hours, it would be probably more like two weeks, maybe less. Uh, depending, it really depends how much time you have in a day to diamond paint, you know, so it's a very difficult question actually to answer. But anyway, 
I think at the moment the second largest diamond painting that I've done was probably the Starry Night, uh, which I sealed as well. Uh, so you can see that video. Um, I'll try to remember to link it in the eye. But that one was 55 by 70, I think. So kind of similar in size to this one. Okay. Um, favorite completed diamond painting? Oh gosh. Again, difficult question. I think I've tried to answer that once already. So maybe the one that I have on the wall. Um, so I may try and, and insert it here if I if I remember <laughs> to show you. So it's the one of the tree, the colorful tree. And then I think, but also there was a few other paintings that I really enjoyed. So the Folkberg from Carla Gerard, um, also by Diamond Shop. I really enjoyed that one. Again, if I remember, I can try and insert the picture here. And if I remember, I can try and link my review of that painting, but I may forget to do that. So the Folkberg by Carla Gerard. Uh, that one was just a small one, but I really enjoyed that one. Um, and also the, the one with the couple embracing by Mandy Manzano. Uh, the world was ours. That's the title of that painting. The world was ours. That one was from Diamond Art Club. I really enjoyed working on that painting. And I think it's such a beautiful piece of artwork. Um, yeah, I love that. So yeah, so I think these are my three favorite completed diamond paintings. Um, but I think when I complete this one, that may also come as one of my favorite because I think it's beautiful. Um, yeah, but I just, I enjoy the process of diamond painting more than the actual finished diamond paintings, I think, because most of them I just put in my portfolio and then every now and then I will take them out and look at them. Uh, I only have one that's on my wall at the moment. Maybe one day, if I live in a big house and have lots of space on my walls, then I will also have more diamond paintings hanging. I don't know. Okay. Um, favorite. Okay, so I've done this. What would be your dream kit? Okay. So, so basically, what would it include? So, what type of drills? What would it have? Like, as a as an art uh, artwork? What canvas? So obviously, it would be poured glue because poured glue is the most convenient, the easiest one to work with. But with more sticky glue than this, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> sticky glue, but not that sticky that you can't move your drills. So not like double-sided adhesive, but um, yeah, but so poured glue, but with a sticky glue. Okay, so like Diamond Art Club glue, kind of, that will be fine. Um, resin drills, probably it would be round, I think. Yeah, very sparkly round drills, so resin drills. It would include special drills, lots of ABs and lots of crystal rhinestones because I love them so much. I love crystal rhinestones. They excite me. Um, so that would be the main requirement. It would be colorful. So I love colorful paintings. I think, you know, it would include like some blues and greens and purples and yellows and oranges. I love oranges. Um, so yeah, it would just be very bright, colorful. Um, very happy, I don't know, some positive painting. I don't have a specific thing, it could be like artwork, just like even abstract artwork, but lots of beautiful colors, that would be fine. Yeah, that's really all I require, I don't know. Yeah, um, size, um, well, I mean, I like big paintings, but they take such a long time to do that I prefer them slightly smaller. So maybe like 50 by 60, um, but it's like my sweet spot. I think, I think 50 by 60 is not too large, but also not too small. So it's like nice and easy to work on, like quite a convenient size to work on, uh, but it's big enough to have some detail in it. So it depends on the artwork, obviously. If the artwork, artwork was very detailed, then it would have to be much larger. But 50 by 60 is like, I think my favorite kind of size-ish or like depending, it could be a square like 60 by 60, you know, something like that. Yeah, around these, like around 50 or 60 centimeters. Okay. Um, so the, the second, so we have two more questions. So one is, do I prefer confetti or do I prefer color, color blocking? And I would say I like a mixture of both. So I like to have some confetti and some color blocking in my paintings. I would prefer to have, if I had to choose, I think I would still go for confetti. Though to be fair right now, I'm not feeling it because this painting has so much confetti and I've spent so much time on it that I'm quite sick of confetti at the moment. So at the moment, I would actually prefer to just have a painting of color blocking just to have a switch from this. But 
overall, I think I still, confetti is still more interesting. But my favorite is if the painting has some confetti, but not too much. And then has like areas of color blocking or like, you know, the, the like patches that you you can color block. Uh, so there's like, a, you know, so, like there there is switching of colors, but they're more concentrated in, in patches so that you can do some color blocking, you know, in every color or something like that. So like a mixture of confetti and color blocking would be perfect. And the last question is, name fa your five favorite diamond painting companies. And I think that's an easy one. I think so. I haven't counted if I have five, but I'm, I'm sure I do. So obviously Diamond Art Club. And good news, good news. Okay, I, I went on their website yesterday and they offer free shipping to UK again over 60 pounds. So good because they t they used to offer free shipping um when you yeah i think it was over 56 pounds or something and now it's over 60 pounds but then they stopped it and they said no more free shipping for uk customers but they brought it back yay <laughs> happy days happy days unfortunately the us dollars have been doing really really well lately and because of that diamond art club prices have gone up for I think for most of other countries, um, but um, still, you know, even though like the, the canvases now are more expensive for us to get, like for me, one canvas from Diamond Art Club is like, I think the cheaper ones are like 44 pounds or something, which is already quite expensive. And the ones that I like big ones are like seven, I, I think one I looked at was like nearly 80 pounds, which is a lot of money. That's like diamond shop prices now at Diamond Art Club for us. But that depends on the US dollar, how well it's doing. I'm hoping it will drop again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, America, but I, I, I don't want you to be doing so well. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's kind of more variable. But at least the shipping costs are uh, now there. Again, there's no... But the, the problem, again, with Diamond Art Club is now that because they're in the US, uh, because of Brexit, I think the way they, they ship things, they used to ship them via Germany. But now the thing is um, they can't avoid really... Uh, the custom charges so they they add 20 percent tax to every purchase so so even so let's say if diamond painting is 80 pounds i have to pay 20 percent extra on top of the 80 pounds for the so it's like a hundred quid basically nearly for one painting which is crazy crazy price so i will still not be buying from diamond art club as much plus i have too many paintings anyway but um the prices have gone up significantly with the taxes especially but at least the shipping is free again dreamer designs is probably my second favorite um just because the artwork is not as good as diamond art club but everything else i'm really happy with um so dreamer designs i really like and they don't add the taxes and they still offer free shipping as well over i think 75 dollars so they are probably the cheapest option for me at the moment is dreamer designs because i don't have custom charges they somehow managing now to to not have the the custom charges uh, i don't know what they did because they used to um get custom charges but not not recently and the free shipping so they are and and their canvases are not as expensive as diamond art club i have to say they're cheaper cheaper but very good value very good quality so dreamer designs are kind of winning it in terms of money and uh, they're my cheapest go-to at the moment so i ordered some on black friday as well because you could get one full price and one 60 percent off uh, so that was a really good deal and free shipping so yeah really good deal um so dreamer designs i love diamond shop i love their artwork i wouldn't say i love the company but i love the artwork uh, I think they're very pricey and I think um, they don't provide enough quality for the price that they're charging. I think uh, there's still a gap there, like in terms of like their, their toolkits are not great, their, you know, the glue isn't great. The, there's always, the, there seems to be issues with rendering on, on some of their paintings. Uh, so I think there's still some issues with Diamond Shop, but I love the artwork from Diamond Shop, so that they would be in my top five, definitely. Diamond Art Studio UK is a new company, but they've just released, uh, so they have beautiful quality canvases. They've got beautiful drills and very good quality canvases. They deliver within the UK one or two days from ordering. Um, really great, very quick order processing, very quick shipping. A uh, very nice packaging, um, very like you could give it as a gift as it comes as packaged with a ribbon and stuff. Very pretty, 
and they've just released released some new lovely um, licensed artwork. I definitely want to order some of these paintings that they've just released. They're just beautiful, beautiful artwork. Uh, so I'm quite excited about this new UK based company. So they're definitely, you know, one to look out for. Um, then I know there's a new company, Oraloa, that I haven't ordered from yet, but I think they, they have very good quality as well. There's only one painting from them, though, that I really feel like I would really want to have, and I will probably order it uh, in a few months' time. Uh, but yeah, but I I think they, they definitely they seem like they're going to be a very good company, uh, though I haven't ordered from them, so they can't be in my top five, but I think they're the ones also to look out for. Um... Yes, I don't actually know. So I named three that I've ordered from. No, four. So I'm missing one more. One more. Crafties. I think Crafties would be my last one. Though I haven't ordered from them in a while. I think my last order from them was January? I don't know. It was beginning of the year that I ordered from them. I haven't ordered from them since then. Um, Mostly because um, they are paid. So they're still not perfect quality. Like their canvases are a little bit... um. You know, they're not perfect. They, they, they're good quality, but they're not as good as like Diamond Art Club or like these other companies that I mentioned. Um, but they also do licensed artwork. And what I like about them is that they do smaller sizes. Though unfortunately for some of the paintings, I think they do too small. And unfortunately you lose the detail of the artwork. So I would prefer if they gave options of the sizes or maybe make some of the, the more detailed paintings just slightly larger. Uh, but I do like the fact that they offer these smaller canvases that are hand charted, uh, so they're very beautifully charted um, from like Sibyl Art um, and some other artists. Uh, so I think they're also, and they include crystal rhinestones, which I love. I love crystal rhinestones. So definitely there would be ones also that I would, um, you know, I'd love to order from again. And obviously diamond dots, but now they don't ship to UK anymore. So you can only order from like um, distributors, which which makes it a bit harder. I think I'm like I like the fact that previously you could just order from them directly. Now you have to look for distributors, and not all of their paintings are available in the UK. Um, and I actually personally, I still haven't worked on one of their paintings. So I have a few in my stash, but I haven't worked on any of them yet. So I feel like I can't really say yet that they're one of my top five, but I'm pretty sure that they would be uh, if I had worked on one of their paintings, because I know that they provide beautiful quality drills, very, very sparkly, and their canvases that I, I've heard very good opinions on. So... Uh, you know, I think they, they would be one also to go to top five. But in my in my case, I think it's Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Designs, Diamond Shop, Crafties, Diamond Art Studios UK. I think that would be the top five companies that I would first, if I was to order from, from a company, I would probably look at them first. Then I would be thinking about, oh, I would like to order from Oraloa. And then also Diamond Dots, you know, and they're the ones that I would want to order some more paintings from, that's for sure. Okay. You know what? I've been talking for over an hour now, so I'm gonna stop because this was meant to be half an hour video. I thought maybe half an hour or maybe even less. I thought I don't have very many answers to all these questions, but there you go. I chatted for a very long time and now I'm losing my voice. I'm actually kind of tired of talking, um, but I've made some progress. I've put some, some drills on, so it wasn't just talking. It was some, some drilling as well. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much guys for joining me for this diamond painting tag. Let me know some answers as well. If you'd like to answer some of the questions, you can let me know in the comments. If you're new here and you lasted this whole video, I would love to have you in my subscribers. So please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell down there. Yeah, just to be notified when I post another video. Uh, it may be either about diamond painting or a cross stitch. Um, or who else? Uh, who? <laughs> Here, here we go. I forgot what I was gonna say. Who, who knows what else? <laughs> That's what I was gonna. God, I'm. I can't speak anymore, guys. Okay, this is time to finish. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a lovely day, lovely night. Um, wherever you are in the world, just you know, enjoy, enjoy your time, enjoy diamond painting, enjoy crafting, and I hope to see you in my next video. Okay, guys. Bye.